Engineer 775 here. I wanted to talk to you about uh, a cool laser sighting system, uh, aiming system that I just picked up. It's called a D-Ball I2. This one is the red. They have a green laser and a red laser. And um, this, is, this is awesome. I've done a video before where I took out some raccoons at night, but I was using uh, PBS-14 with uh, a weapons mount. Now the weapons mount sit here. I have to take my uh, folding sight off the rear, take that off, mount the weapons mount, mount the PBS on here. But it is very difficult to, uh, to walk, to move, to look around when you're holding that PBS up behind your, your uh, sighting system, whether it's just your iron sights or uh, EOTech or Aimpoint or whatever you're using there. And so um, it's just much more natural to be able to look around with either the, uh, you know, the skull crusher that comes with the PBS or putting on, you know, putting on a helmet with a rhino mount. And that's the, that's the best, just having that PBS-14 on the rhino mount, being able to look around and having this D-ball laser um, check this thing out. It's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'm, I've had such a good time with this. I'll show you some of the things I'm going to do with it outside at night. But it's got a real heavy-duty cam lock on it, and so it, it's very tough. You just want to make sure you mount it back in the same same location on on your rail. It can go on the side, left, right, or top. It's harder to sight in when it's on the sides, but you just think uh, the up and downs kind of go backwards when you mount it on on the side. Eight, so I have eight visible, and I mean it's an awesome locking cam system. So this this baby is not moving at all. You can activate it um, here, and that'll turn on. I'll put the shine on the wall here on the visible laser. And just uh, two things about it: you can see the dot on the wall here. Um, if you just if you tap it, there's a there's a low and a high setting, and then if you double tap it you've got it on a sustain for five minutes. Now you can do that with the pressure switch. I have it on my Magpul front grip here and I can double switch, double click and it stays on or just once and hold, I can hold it on and then it'll go off. Hit double tap and it's on again. So that's a, that's a pretty cool setup there. It'll stay on for five minutes. It has um, high and low on the visible laser. It has high and low on the infrared. And obviously you can't see that unless you look through it with a PBS and, I, and a, a night vision goggle of some sort. So anyway, that's it. The other th cool thing is when you're sighting this in, I have it co-witnessed with the EOTech. So I can turn the EOTech on and that's how I line this in. I just brought the, the laser dot and so when I look through my EOTech, I know you can't see it on the video, but I have the, you know, the holographic image there and I double, double tap. And basically, you just dial those in. It gets you extremely close for a first first go at sighting this thing in. So what do I have? I've got two devices that have night vision capabilities. So it gives me some redundancy there. That's awesome. I also have the folding sights, you know, the, for the, the manual option. And they are all co-witnessed. So you have basically three sighting systems, two with night vision, and two, um, actually three daytime options and two night vision options and having it mounted on the helmet is so much better I've walked through the through the woods trying to do it weapons mounted and I have fallen down I'm glad that wasn't on video um, because uh, <laughs> it was quite embarrassing it's just not natural to walk with your PVS at night behind you walking around with a gun plus you're gonna start flagging people and doing some things that are pretty dangerous. So what's nice is you just put the, the laser dot on. You don't even, you don't have to bring it up, but you've got your PBS mounted on your helmet and you're you're in good shape there. So all right, let me just show you how what that would look like. Just cut. Okay, I just turned around here. Um, you can see the red dot on the wall and I can see that you know perfectly with uh, the PBS 14. And then I can hold the weapon in any any way I want, under a vehicle or whatever, just in an awkward position. Doesn't matter because that that laser dot is going to be right where I need it to be. And then I can and then I can look around. And having to do that with a gun is just very dangerous, very awkward. 
And so this is the best way to go. So the D-Ball IR laser, IR2, is just phenomenal. It's simple, it's durable, it's mountable in three different ways. You got pressure switches, I'm turning on and off there. Um, I can turn it off here. It's easily adjusted. Um, you've got the uh, you know up and down on each the IR and the visible up and down and left and right just like a scope and that's pretty much it um, so it's 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 awesome and so it's a wonderful combination and if I guess if I had to do do it all over I would have gotten this first with a PVS as opposed to the EOTech um, just because of how versatile the the combination of the two are they're just you know unbelievable so I'll show you some of that at night so you get a, maybe a little bit better idea of what I'm talking about. Again, uh, go to JRH Enterprises if you need one of these lasers. Um, they are awesome. It's a D-Ball IR laser IR2. I believe that stands for dual beam aiming laser. And uh, just a small, compact, tough piece of equipment that complements the PVS-14 or whatever night vision device that you have. So the two go together fantastic. Um, it's night and day. I don't think I'm ever going to weapons mount the, the PVS-14 again. Um, I can, and I can line it up with EOTech. So it gives me some backups at night. And this is just, uh, there's, there's nothing like it. you got to try it. So hopefully between, with this video you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you some stuff going from dusk into uh, late night and uh, looking and putting the laser on my cows and, and whatever else might come across the field. So. so I wanted to, I'm actually through the EOTech, got a red dot, oh man, you're not going to be able to see, I don't know if you can see that red dot on the tree through my, through both sites. There it is, hard to, I'm just holding the gun one handed back here, so. <laughs> shaking a little bit but anyhow that is co-witnessed with the uh, the Troy Industries uh, folding battle site the EOTech and uh, so everything's uh, co-witnessed so anyway it probably was hard to see that through my camera but that's how I actually did my first lineup or uh, sighting in the the D-Ball was with my EOTech. I just turned the, the holographic image on and so if you look back here now I don't know if you can actually see see that but that is co-witnessed with the D-Ball laser so the D-Ball laser is dead center with that so that gets you very very close and you can fine-tune it after that but it's kinda cool okay I've got a PBS-14 in my left hand, a camera in my right hand, and my AR-15 resting. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that green dot. So this this is just, this. it's much better when you're not trying to film, but I wanted to, oh, that darn, that red dot is not the laser. Red dot's from your camera. All right, so you see the green dot out there? Sorry about the reflection on the, on the right but anyway I'm, I'm putting that green dot right on the cows um, through my naked eye I can see this very clearly so I am moving that green dot around but I got the gun just balanced just right but anyway hopefully you can pick that up but that's 300 yards out typical shot around here is like 60 70 yards or less and uh, pretty cool though. Hey, got a creature walking in the. It was a cat. <laughs> it was a cat. Cat's like, what in the world? Okay, let's not shoot the cat. I'll get in a lot of trouble for that. Shoot. Pitch black, can't see the cat. I can't do this. I don't have enough hands. But I could have lit up that cat. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to cover up the red light on the camera. 
green dots out there from the D-ball IR. So, sorry about the bad video. I just wanted to prove to you, you know, that you at night can see. Gosh, it's hard to get a full. There we go. It's a little better. Hopefully, I'm moving that green dot up and down with a gun. Okay. I'm going to stop before I drop something. Um, wish there was a better way to film this. Engineer 775 signing out. When I'm looking through my camera, it doesn't look too good. When I'm looking through the PVS, it looks good. So, again, just holding the AR here. Camera slipping. Hope you can see that laser really good. And um, that's about it. So, awesome combat multiplier. Oh, there goes my camera. Engineer 775 signing out. I'll drop the camera, but not the PVS.